Welcome ladies and gentlemen. Please consider subscribing to this channel. Don't forget to like this video. You give your opinion at the comment section below after watching the video. And don't forget to share this video. You will be shocked when it comes to the reports that the former Chief Justice of the Republic of Kenya, David Maraga, came out giving William Samoy Ruto after being appointed the chairperson of the Police Reforms Task Force. You will be shocked. Because the mandate that he was given was to go and at least understand all the problems, or rather the welfare, of the police officers across the Republic of Kenya. You will be shocked with the reports that David Maraga is giving William Samuel Ruto. Number one, the recommendations are not even suggesting about the increment of the salaries of police officers. Number two, there is no recommendation about the shelter where police officers are living. Number three, when it comes to environment of work, when it comes to uniforms, when it comes to different issues that affect police officers, then we want to ask a simple question. Why was Maraga appointed to be the chairperson of this police reforms ta task force? This is whatever the task force is telling William Samaruto. That President Ruto accepts recommendation to have two entry points into national police service. Constable and cadet levels and three-year transfer policy for all officers. You the recommendation in Maraga Meleta. I know some people will say, Unajuaji Akuna issue ya salary increment. But I want to ask you, we've we've gone through all this kind of recommendations in Atoka Komaraga. Akuna issue ya mshara. We have not discussed about the issue of mshara. Yeah, what salary? I watu wanaishi shelter is very poor. Nyenye mmewatch condition penye hawa watu wanaishi. You find, for example, a camp penye hawa mapolisi wanaishi. Hawa watu, they are protecting life. Hawa watu wana protect property. You know? The same same people, wakitoka kazi, wanaishi kwa nyumba ya za mabati. Ukuta ni mabati. Chene sa zingine ya kwa cemented. Juu ni mabati. You just imagine baridi yenye hawa watu wanapitia. A very kind of harsh environment. Salary hiko chini, waliongezo elofu moja moja. Wenye ulukua wanapata 33,000, waliongezo elofu moja wanapata 34. Wenye ulukua wanapata 40,000, waliongezo wa 3,000 wanapata 43,000. Wenye ulukua wanapata 43,000, wakaongezo wa 3, wakapata 46,000. Ujaweka ile deduction inyo nafanya, NHF, NSSF, na maishu mingi house levy, you know, inakatwa hapo. So when you look at these people, and the reason why David Maraga was appointed to be the chairperson of Police Reforms Task Force, it was not only about the constable and cadet levels and three-year transfer policy for all officers. The, the, the only recommendation and the strong recommendation they are having. If you want to have strong police officers, their welfare must be catered for. Their welfare must be catered for. Wako na bunduki ya kutosha. Wako na uniform ya kutosha. Wako na environment ya kuishi peacefully. Ya kutosha, shelter. How watu pia wanaiza toko kwa zile manyumba mbaya mbaya waende kwa nyumba mzuri mzuri. Because you will find, we've seen them even around us. Kuna wengine wanaishi kwa manyumba za mabati. And the government understands very well. Can they have? I know some people will say that sikuna mapulisi wengine wanaishi maisha mzuri wa kwa nyumba ya, ya, ya mawe. 
a bigger percentage of them ni wakubwa hawa watu ah ni wakubwa ndio wanaishi maisha mzuri but hawa chini the intention of appointing david maraga to be the chairperson of this police tax force was to ensure at least understand the problems that these police officers are going through can they be promoted leave alone transfer i was thinking like at this point yenye unasema a 3 year transfer policy for all officers atukima ukikama hali 3 years unakuwa transferred is not it make utter sense can you come with a policy that say maybe after 3 years or even 10 years or 5 years a police officer anakuwa promoted from a level yenye alikuwa to another level so to telling police police officers atikifika 3 years we unaenda transfer ukifika 3 years ulikuwa kisumu unaenda sihaya ukitoka sehemu unaenda nyeri hivyo hivyo but is there a recommendation that after some period of time wanakuwa promoted because when you look at even the promotion of the, these police officers unapata kuna kind of biasness kuna mtu amefanya for long kwa police ajai promotiwa and he still there he might retire or she ma- might retire the way he was employed so eventually when i was just looking at this hiyo akina marago wameharibu tu pesa ya serikali they have been paid their salaries wamekunywa chai wamefanya kila kitu lunch sapa they have their salaries but the reality is they have not come out to tell all the problems that these police officers are passing through these police officers are human beings they are human beings they are not animals they are human beings so for you to come out to recommend certain recommendations that are not there imagine and, and again they are saying at breaking i don't see any kind of breaking here this is just a kind of shame to david maraga you're so learned the recommendation that could have come out from uh, from from you as a chairperson of police reforms task force this is not enough I know some people will say still that unajuaje na bado wameka recommendations zingine ziko. I know there are other recommendation and we do understand. But no recommendation touching I have not seen recommendation touching this uh, the issue of increment of salaries. Au watu wapewe pesa mzuri. Au watu wapewe pesa mzuri because when look at even the environment they are working. Sai yote tu unapata kuna emergency na emergency ni mahali penye these people are risking their lives do they have the allowances they do are they being paid overtime because kuna police sasa zingine wanafanya overtime are, being, are they being paid on that are they receiving their allowances they must have the allowances risk allowances medical allowances travel allowances these people protect our country you know and if any case no one is going to discuss about this then we are going to see corruption in police officers and that is why the other time Javed Komi himself the inspector general of police came out confessing saying that he, ha- he has accepted that there is corruption in police service commission that even him other juniors are trying to bribe him then people are asking himself can he come out to tell the names the debt and when these people came out bribing him and what are the actions they has taken so this is just a kind of now corruption is the song of the day because the police officers also want to cater for their lives and if you're not going to do that why not mbona watu wasiwape 50 50 50 not watu wasiwape 100 100 you know because they're living in poor environment Alawense sakuna, salary iko chini. You know, uniform ni yoyo. Kuna wengine hata ukiangalia uniform ni kama watoto wako shule. These police officers should be smart. No akwe armed, you know. One day I was watching a police officer of traffic police officer. Ananyang'anywa simu na ana silaha. Ananyang'anywa simu live na hivi na ana silaha. Huyo police hawezi toka bio afuate hiyo pikipiki what are the mechanisms on how the welfare of these police officers can be catered for 
I think that is enough. If this can be done to the police officers, they are protecting property and lives, then police officers will behave good. But you cannot come out to accuse them that their welfare has not been catered for. So it is so pathetic. If I was just reading whatever now Maraga and his team is coming out to tell Kenyans and also William Ruto that these are the recommendations. The taxpayers' money. They have been paid salaries. And they continue to... Wanaenda kuzidi kuka hapa mapana. These people should be sent home. Waende nyumbani. Hakuna kazi wamefanya. Because immediately William Ruto was sworn in. Maraga aliapontiwa kuwa chair person of police reforms task force. At that time, walikuwa na sema siji. Oh, lazimu angalia maisha welfare ya police officers. Kwa ni hindi welfare walikuwa na angalia police officers. That after three years, they are being transferred. Why? Can you come out to say that after three years, they are being promoted? At least that could have been a better, a better news. Ladies and gentlemen, what are your thoughts? Drop your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, I want to appreciate you so much because of your support. Please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing this video.